kids podcast. <laughs> you can go slow. A kids podcast about. Hi, this is Matthew, and I'm head of podcasts at a kids company about. We are so glad you're listening to this show, and I wanted to let you know that we've got an entire network of podcasts dedicated to producing original content that talks up to kids, centers the things going on in their world, and engages and challenges how they see the world and themselves. With shows about facts, climate justice, current events, and activism, there's a show out there made just for your kid. Check out the A Kids Podcast About channel on Apple Podcasts or wherever podcasts are found, or visit akidsco.com. Hi, I'm Ariane. I'm a journalist and a college professor, and I'm your host. This is our very first episode of Is That True?, a kids podcast about facts. Each week, we'll go on a fact-checking investigation, and we'll do this with experts whose job it is to know these things, and enthusiasts who are people who just really love the topics we'll be learning about. When I think about it, a lot of the things I loved when I was a kid are the same things I love today. I loved books, check. I love to dance, check. I love to ask a lot of questions and write about the answers and share them with other people. Check, check, check. It's actually what I do every single day. And it's so amazing to me that now I get to do all of that with you. Together, we're going to learn more about the things you love. And along the way, we'll learn how to check to see if we know what we think we know. Uncovering the truth is lots of fun for me. And if you're a fact finder, truth seeker kind of kid too, you've definitely come to the right place. This season on Is That True? We'll investigate bones and explore red rivers. We'll farm on Mars and dig deep into how some of the tiniest things on Earth work. And we'll learn a thing or two about how to sniff out the truth along the way. Our very first fact we'll be investigating is a really cool one. My name is Yusuf, and I'm eight years old, and I live in Illinois. And did you know uh, a monarch butterfly is poisonous? Wow, Yusuf, that's such a cool fact, and I have no idea if that's true. So we'll have to investigate it. But first... Let's talk a little bit about butterflies and how I found someone to help us figure things out. I know from school that butterflies are extremely cool. In fact, they used to be my favorite thing to study when I was a kid. They start off as caterpillars and they go through what is called metamorphosis. That means the process from starting as one thing and turning into something completely different. When I was a kid, we kept caterpillars in our classroom and watched them turn into butterflies. So I know just how cool it is. I actually saw it happen with my own eyes. That's one way to know how something is true. But what I don't know is whether or not monarch butterflies are poisonous. I've never tried to research that. But I was scrolling online and I saw someone who does. And judging by his very cool educational videos, he's the perfect person for us to meet. After the break, I'll take you to Maryland to speak with Dr. Samuel Ramsey or Dr. Sammy. He's an entomologist. I actually have to say that word really slowly to get it out. Now, what do you think an entomologist studies? It's actually one of Dr. Ramsey's nicknames. Be right back. A Kids Class About is an all-new streaming platform we've created for tweens and teens. We've got classes on discovering your passion, being a musician, living with authenticity, and even one on being an entrepreneur. These classes are focused on careers, life skills, and big ideas. Visit akidsco.com and sign up for a free 14-day trial. A 
friends. Hello, my name is Ben Tartine, and I am the head camp counselor at Camp Adventure, a summer camp podcast. Camp Adventure is a first-of-its-kind summer camp that you can listen to anywhere, like in the car, under your blanket fort, while you're going for a walk, I mean, everywhere. And it's a podcast for everyone. I tell stories about growing up, exploring my backyard, building castles out of chocolate, all kinds of stuff. There's sing-alongs led by the fabulous Hannah Glaver. We host a weekly challenge that you and your friends, neighbors, and grown-ups can all do together. There are games and scavenger hunts and jokes, bird song calls, learning words in another language together, and just so much great stuff for every single kid out there. I think you're going to enjoy it. New episodes release every Saturday throughout the summer, and you can listen to them anytime, anywhere, and in any order. So go wild. Listen to Camp Adventure wherever podcasts are found. Adventure, we venture. Welcome back to Is That True, the podcast that explores how we know the things we know. At the start of this episode, Yusuf told us that monarch butterflies are poisonous. What do you think? Is that true? It's time to investigate our fact from Yusuf. And to look into that, I search for someone who knows a lot about bugs, just like butterflies. That's an entomologist. So my name is Dr. Sammy, uh, Samuel Ramsey, or Dr. Bugs, as a lot of people have been calling me. Um, I am a, an entomologist with the United States Department of Agriculture, and I'm a science communicator. I love getting people excited about the incredible stuff that goes on in the natural world. It's a pretty cool thing to have a nickname based off of what you love and what you love to study, huh? But Dr. Sammy wasn't always so ready to fearlessly learn about bugs. When he was younger, he was actually scared of them, just like some of us might be. I was actually terrified of insects when I was a kid, um, so much so that my parents were really worried about it because I didn't want to go outside for recess. I was having nightmares about bugs. And so they told me, people fear what they don't understand. So they got me a library card as a seven-year-old, which I think was just the perfect idea. And they indulged my curiosity there. They got me all these books about insects from the library. And by the end of that summer, I was like, Mom, Dad, I want to be an entomologist when I grow up. And here we are. <laughs> so Dr. Sammy has been into, well, bugs ever since. So if there's anyone who would know about our fact, it would be him. So I asked. So, is it true that monarch butterflies are poisonous because they're so pretty? It's so interesting that these butterflies actually are poisonous. They're poisonous because they feed only on a plant that is poisonous. They're one of very, very, very few creatures on this planet that can eat something called milkweed. We call it milkweed because if you uh, tear at the little pods, this milky substance comes out of it and it is poisonous. It's full of a, a toxic chemical called a glycoside. Um, and if sheep or cows eat enough of it, it can kill them. The caterpillars feed on this and it doesn't hurt them, but they're able to store all of those glycosides inside of their bodies so that if something tries to eat them, it can be poisoned by it. So yes, Yusuf and friends, monarch butterflies are poisonous. And Dr. Sammy taught me another important point, that there is a huge difference between something being poisonous and something being venomous. That's honestly something I think we mix up, or at least I do. A lot of times when people hear the word poisonous, they think of a venomous creature. They think of something like a scorpion or a tarantula. Those are creatures that have venom. That means that the, the toxin that they use against another creature, they have to inject it into that creature's bloodstream. So they have to bite them or sting them or something like that. So a wasp is a venomous creature, but it's not poisonous. You could actually eat one. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't recommend it, though. <laughs> don't yeah, don't yeah. try that. <laughs> but a butterfly, um, a, a certain kinds of butterflies, like specifically the monarch butterfly, what we think of as being very pretty 
isn't an attempt for them to, to show off how lovely they are to us. It's actually an attempt for them to communicate, I'm poisonous, and I don't want you to have to bite me to find that out. So when you see a creature that uses that black and orange coloration or black and red, like a ladybug, which is also poisonous, or a firefly, which is also poisonous, you don't want to eat that creature. So because monarch butterflies are poisonous and not venomous, they are not dangerous for people. Mostly because we don't go around trying to eat a bunch of them. We're big enough where it wouldn't hurt us very much. You'd get an ups- upset stomach. Uh, for the most part, it's it's not a concern to humans. But birds or mice that attempt to eat one will not eat another one. They'll start throwing up and it'll be a really rough day for them. I think it's easy to forget just how cool butterflies are. It's also really good for us to remember that butterflies, well, they start off as something totally different. They start off as caterpillars. So insects like butterflies and caterpillars go through a process called metamorphosis. Um, the, the big grand term that we have for all the insects that go through this full metamorphosis is the holometaboli. And they're really, really, really fascinating because they transition from one creature into something that looks totally different. And if you didn't know, you wouldn't even think they were the same species. The concept of Pokemon is actually based on the process of metamorphosis in insects. If you've seen Pokemon, they can change from one Pokemon to the next Pokemon. Uh, I think it's so cool that the guy who came up with all of this was obsessed with bugs and was really enamored with the concept of metamorphosis as a, a method of even inspiring something as cool as Pokemon. But one of the things that I have found really cool about metamorphosis is that you're taking a creature, this organism is somehow able to restructure its own body into another thing. So if you're building something yourself, imagine you've got a bunch of Legos and you want to build a big Lego castle. You're building something that is not a part of you. But for a creature to break itself down and then turn itself into something else is crazy to me. And the fact that its body can keep score, it can remember the things that happened when it was a caterpillar, even though it's got a different brain as a butterfly, is also a a marvel to us as scientists. And when we think about how a caterpillar can change into a butterfly, Dr. Sammy reminds us that that is kind of what we do, too. When you're growing up, there are some changes that happen rapidly. And you can look back at when you were a kid, when I I like to call high school the pupil phase. Uh, You were in your little cocoon, figuring things out, and then pew! You turn into an adult and it just seems like the transition is so rapid and like you're a different creature in a lot of ways. We actually have a lot in common with bugs. All we have to do is just look around or more specifically, look down. I think people need to look down more. Look down and remember that bugs are the coolest thing that you've ever stepped on. Instead of just smushing them, Take a moment to think about just how intricate and interesting their world is. You will not be disappointed, I promise. So, is it true that monarch butterflies are poisonous? Yes, they absolutely are. And that poison comes from the poisonous food they eat, a plant called milkweed. But we need to remember the difference between poisonous and venomous. Poisonous means that it's dangerous if you eat it, while venomous means it's dangerous if it bites or stings you. For smaller things like birds that eat butterflies, this is very, very bad. But for humans, not so much. So thank you, Yusuf, for helping us learn this fact. Thanks to Dr. Samuel Ramsey, better known as Dr. Sammy, for being our expert on today's show. You can learn more about Dr. Sammy by visiting www.drsammy.online. We'll also have a link in our show notes. Is That True is written by me, Ariane Nettles. Our show is edited and produced by Matthew Winner with help from Chad Michael Snavely and the team at Sound On Studios. Our executive producer is Jelani Memory. And this show was brought to you by a kid's podcast about. Do you have a fact you'd like us to investigate? Write to us at listen at a kidspodcastabout.com. 
And check out other podcasts made for kids just like you by visiting akidsbookabout.com. Hi, this is Matthew, and I'm head of podcasts at A Kid's Company About. We hope you enjoyed this show, and we'd love for you to check out our growing library of shows at A Kid's Podcast About. Whether you're looking for storytelling with crafts and activities, fact-finding with experts and enthusiasts, or looking to explore and understand your world better, we have got a podcast for you. Check out the A Kid's Podcast About channel on Apple Podcasts or wherever podcasts are found, or visit akidsco.com. Akidsco.com.